friend. Today we're going to be making the bucket hat. I'm so excited. I, I'm i addicted to bucket hat making. <laughs> They're so quick and easy and just so fun and we always need a hat and these are going to be great for summer because we have spring and summer arriving right now. How pretty is that? I thought the colorway was called swimming pool but no it's just marine. So this is red heart roll with it tweed which i'm not usually a big tweed fan but and it's in the colorway marine so we're gonna learn about this and i'm kind of excited so mm, sorry i'm okay i really like it though <laughs> it doesn't take much this is a medium weight size for yarn and you get 150 grams, which is 296 yards, which is way, way more than I'm going to need. I'll probably be able to make two bucket hats with this, and I probably will make two bucket hats with it, because I don't know what else I would do with what I'm gonna have left with it. I'll let you guys see how much I have left at the end. But for row one, you're gonna half double crochet. This is a half double crochet hat, in case I forgot to mention. We're gonna start with nine half double crochets in a magic loop. I will link below all of my beginner tutorials in case you're new to crochet. Feel free to look at some of my beginner tutorials because I made them. That's why I made them, just in case. But little magic circle. I'm grabbing my J hook, going under, over, grabbing and twisting. Grabbing that working yarn, not the tail, the working. For one. Awesome. And now I'm going to work over the tail. So nine half double crochets into your loop. Half double crochet is yarn over, insert, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull under everything, all three loops on the hook. This yarn wants to split on me. Are we gonna struggle? Is this gonna be a struggle bus kind of a project? I'm gonna crochet nice and loose so it won't have the opportunity to split on me. Nine half double crochets. There's number nine. And then we should have nine little Vs from our nine stitches. And you're going to slip stitch underneath the first one that you made in the row. Yarn over, pull through everything for a slip stitch. Chain one to raise up for row two. And now we're gonna do nine increase half double crochets. Increase half double crochet just means you're going to put two half double crochets in every stitch. That means these nine are gonna turn into 18. Each one will get two. So increase half double crochet all the way across. slip stitch into the first half double crochet that you made in the row. Chain one to raise up for row three and let's get started. So from here, we're going to half double crochet in the first stitch. In the next stitch, you're going to increase, so two half double crochets. Repeat that all the way across. for 27 stitches. I have completed my 27 stitches. I'm slip stitching into the first half double crochet of this row, chaining one, and we are gonna be ready to start row four already. How are you holding up? Let me know down below. I'm going to do, for this row, the pattern is one half double crochet, then another one all by itself. The one after that is an increase. So one, one, and two. All the way across for 36. I'm 
Awesome. We hit the 36 and I see color changes. Oh, I love color changes. We're going to slip stitch into the first of these 36 stitches that you just made. Chain one and start row five. Now for row five, it's one, one, one half double crochet. So three all by themselves. And then an increase for two half double crochets in the same stitch. Again, one, <laughs> One, 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 and then two. I like to count. I always know that the last number is going to be an increase. So I do one, two, three, four, and since I know five is last, that's going to be in the same stitch as the one prior. Everybody gets their own little way of doing it though. This one's going to end with 45 stitches. And here we are at the end of this row. So this is the end of row five. In case you're curious what it's looking like, this is, what's, this is what mine looks like at the end of a row. We have that little jog right there. That's pretty typical. You're familiar with that if you've made other hats, but if it's your first one, you might think, oh, that's kind of a gap. And you might want to crochet into it. That's where counting when you're first starting out really helps out. At the end of this row, you should have 45. Got to trust the process. Slip stitch into the first half double crochet that you made this row. Chain one for height so we could start row six. And now we're just going to do four all by themselves, followed by that increase. So four half double crochets and then increase. So two half double crochets in the next stitch. All the way across. So one, two, three, four, increase. Awesome. We're all caught up at the end of row six here. We have 54 stitches all the way around. Might be curving in a little bit, might be flat as a pancake. Totally gonna depend on your yarn and your tension, but your yarn will make a big difference too. We're going to go ahead and start row seven. Slip stitch into the last chain of this last row six and chain one for height. And now we're going to have double crochet in the first five. All by themselves. Four and five. And then an increase. Then just repeat that all the way across. Here we are at the end of row seven. I'm slip stitching into the first half double crochet of the row, chaining one, and now we're gonna do row eight. So what we have here is 63 stitches around, which is lovely. And we have finished row seven, and this is the last of the increases. So you have made it to the end of your circle. Congratulations if it's your first one ever. It's a magical thing, I think. But we're going to go ahead and we're gonna change it up just a little bit. At this point, we're gonna start growing the boop, length of our hat. So these are all 63 stitches, which is weird because they kind of look like they're veering out, but you know, I don't veer out until we get to the end here. So this is gonna be all 63 stitches all the way across. in all of these hats. But we're gonna make this cute, easier to see. No, nope, still white. Hmm. But we're gonna make a cute little lip, just to show the end of our circle. That little lip right there is some back loop only half double crochets. So how we do that, normally when we do a crochet stitch, I'm gonna yarn over just because it is a half double crochet, but normally we would go underneath both legs. I have a video on back loop half double crochets, but normally we would go under both legs. For back loop half double crochet, you yarn over to prepare. Then you go right between the legs of that half double crochet and to the back. I will even sometimes go under the bar if it's a half double crochet. That's just me though. For the most part, back loop only just means half double crochet right under that back leg of the V on top of your crochet stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull under, absolutely everything. But see how it kind of opens up? So I don't love that. 
<laughs> um, so I usually, with this stitch, I usually get in that back V and under the back bar because if you look at a half double crochet, you have this random back bar right here. Here's the V of the stitch and if you twist, there's a bar. And I like to get under that too for the back loop half double crochet because check it out. See, it doesn't pull loose like that. I just like that better. Totally up to you though. You're going to half double crochet in the back loops only all the way around. 63 times. I'll meet you at the end of this row and show you how we're going to add some length to this hat. Alrighty, so that was the hardest part of the entire hat. Right? Now maybe you were having a little bit of a struggle with that. Feel free just to not do that. Just half double crochet around one time in each stitch. That's what we're gonna be doing for the next few rows anyway. And you just won't have the line. The hat'll work out perfectly fine. So don't struggle, it's all good. You're gonna slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet back loop only that we, make, that we made in this row. Chain one so we can be prepared for row nine also, this is row nine through 17. So that's going to be the height of your hat. So for the next nine rows, this is what you're gonna do. So you slip stitch into the first half double crochet of the row, chain one for height. And to start the row, you're just going to half double crochet one time around. Each stitch just gets a half double crochet. This is row nine through 17. No need to do it too tightly. Go ahead and finish your 17th row and I will meet you at the end of it. Hey there, already I finished row 17. I'm slip stitching into the first half double crochet of the row, chaining one for height. And now we're going to go ahead and expand the hat for the brim. So this is gonna go over, this should not go down to your eyebrows, in case this is for you and you're making it. This is probably going to hit like mid forehead. That being said, let's get started on the brim. For row 18, you're going to half double crochet into the first five stitches just one time. Three, four, and five. And then you're going to increase. So two half double crochets in the next stitch. And that's what you're gonna do all the way around. And for any, after your last increase, just half double crochet until the end because it's not going to evenly land. You're going to end up with two half double crochets a few stitches before the end and then just put one half double crochet to get to the end of the row. Here I am at the end of row 18 and like I was saying, here's the last increase and then I still have one, two, three stitches just a half double crochet in. Then you slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet of this row, chain one, and then we're going to change our increase just a little bit. For the next three rows, you're going to half double crochet into the first six stitches, and then increase. So a little less drastic of an increase than that prior row. So that's how we're gonna work all the way around. And then your last increase won't be in the last stitch and you're going to have double crochet till you get to the last row. And that's row 19 through 21. Go ahead and finish row 19, 20, and 21 here and I'll meet you at the end of row 21. 
by the way, while you're working. How pretty is this turning out? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about the next color changes. I hope I hit some green inside this hat. Alrighty, trying to measure the arc here. <laughs> At the end, it's at about 15 and a half inches, which is 39 centimeters. So having that done, we're gonna add a little bit of structure to the end of your bucket here. So slip stitch in two, the first half double crochet of this row and chain one for height. And now we're just going to half double crochet around one time in each stitch. Awesome, and now we're going to do the very last row. I'm going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet of this row, chain one for height, and now we're just gonna place a single crochet in each stitch of this row. So insert, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull under two in each stitch. And here we are at the end of our row of single crochets for stability. We're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first one. Pull that all the way through, yarn over and chain once. Snip on the opposite side of the loop, pull the loop out. Just for a few stitches. Snip nice and close to your work. And your hat is done. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. I'm loving this yarn. I would love to take a peek at yours. If you post it on social media, please at me at Melody Crochet. Please like and subscribe for more yarny centered videos. I would love to have you along in the family and we will see you very, very soon. Bye guys.